Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're back in Blender to resume the SnowRunner modding tutorial series with a brand new truck model. Now, this one that we're featuring here is a 1976, I want to say, Chevrolet K30 Crew Cab. And for those of you who are regular cab fans and remember the truck we started this series with, I will still be building that truck, but it needed a lot more work. And the series was basically going to be eaten up by all the work that truck needed to get it ready. So instead of being a short series that would focus on the basics of getting a truck into the game, it was basically becoming how to prepare one big model for the game. So with that being said, we're going to basically pick up right where we left off with this crew cap dually since every single piece of it is right ready to go into SnowRunner because as you may recall, from the previous video, I can't recall, honestly, if it was the second or the first one. But no piece of the truck, no single piece, can exceed 64,000 triangles, phases, edges, or vertices. And as you can see, every single piece of this truck is less than that, sometimes far, far less than that. So it's a perfect candidate to go right into SnowRunner, basically, as it is. Now... I will still separate some parts of the truck, the pickup bed here, so that we can have interchangeable beds. So if someone doesn't want a dually, they can have this bed over here, or even a flatbed. And the other part we'll be separating from the truck will be the steering wheel, so that we can have an animated rotating steering wheel in the truck for those who drive in first person. So now we'll get right into it. And we'll go over some previous things we had done on the first tutorial truck. So we'll rotate the truck 90 degrees along the z-axis here. The other 90 because Blender wants to be uh, strange this time. Now the other thing we're going to have to do to this truck just slightly is to rotate it until it's level. Want to say that's good? We'll move it back just slightly. There, it's perfectly centered. So, ah, that's the other thing we need to check is the scale. Also, if you'd like to see what keys I'm pressing in Blender, I have my screencast keys set here. So you can see as I'm doing it, which buttons I'm pressing on the keyboard. So let's see. And now most scouts are between, that's add a cube, not measure, are between 2 and 2.5 centimeters in terms of width. And this truck is 2.4 so we'll slightly increase it. Actually, we'll grab the standard pickup bed back there, too. Try that. Yeah, that'll. we'll call that good. Now, the good thing is, once we get it in-game, if it needs to be scaled up, that's perfectly easy to do. You basically just come back in the Blender, press S, scale it slightly, and you're done. Also to uh, confirm to Blender, or rather to, uh, to save the changes that you've made, press A, Control A, and apply all transforms. That now recognizes the fact that the truck has been rotated 90 degrees and moved slightly, so when you save it, you won't have to do all that again. So, I think I'll leave this particular video as is, just, again, to try and keep everything short and to the point. And in the next one, we'll separate this particular pickup bed here and move it into a different collection along with the flatbed. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.